Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back of his Teardown Lab. I did something to my Atari ST. Basically, I was playing with it, and uh, I flipped it upside down and banged it around, put it back on the desk, and it didn't work. It worked for a bit and then kind of failed. I've been spending the last part of uh, my day basically probing this thing and I just don't get what I want to see on the clocks right now. I think maybe something moved in this physical area because the drives, nothing was bolted down and some of the transistors got bent. Although they didn't look like they were shorting, I kind of figured they're all part of this critical timing circuitry for PAL. So I'm going to just check the, the transistors that are on there. But actually, to be honest, I'm replacing them anyway. So the ones that are on there, they have this HFE 268 and a UF of two seven, uh, 724 millivolts. They're basically a uh, 3904 transistor. And I'm going to try another one just to make sure they're all... Th the transistors themselves look fine, to be honest with you. But what I'm going to do is I've got some other transistors on the shelf, which are here. Let's see. So again, HFE 214 UF 705 MV. So they all look okay, to be honest with you. I don't think they're fragged, but I'm replacing them with these, which are fresh, and they have a bit more gain on them. So they have an HFE of 413 with a UF of 715. So I thought a little bit more gain probably couldn't hurt. Now, if you're playing around at home with this sort of thing, please be careful. Make sure your uh, internals of your gadgets are bolted down so you don't have to mess around with these. Um, fortunately for the uh, Atari STs it's a very nice, quite well documented, you can get the schematic, it's only six pages for an ST and go through it. I'm hoping it's going to be something simple. I'm not seeing, um, at the blitter for example, I'm not seeing what I want to see again from the clocks. There's something weird and uh, I'm pretty sure the main CPU here isn't getting a clock. So. I'm going to use Occam's razor and just work on this area because this is the area where the things that were moving around got my little. I've checked my disk mod. If you remember, I've got a drive AB flip mod in there. That's working fine. So I'm not going to touch that. And then the power supply, by the way, is rock solid. Lovely power supply. I can work on that. So yeah, that's my hot tip for you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to just solder all these parts back in and test it out. I have got the correct transistors now. I did order them from the interwebs. Now, a very incredibly expensive quantity of 20. In fact, let's have a look. That 20 cost me £1.98. Ooh. And also, while I was at it, I bought this, which is a whole bunch of resistors in like, you know, every value from, what's this, 68R through to, I don't know, something bigger. But they go up in certain degradations, <laughs> graduations. So if you look at the internet, when you buy these, make sure they kind of have the ranges you want because you can get loads of these packs. And you remember there's hundreds and hundreds of values of resistor, but you want the most common ones. But if you've got a weird one, like this is a particular one I needed, I made sure that this one went up in the right number of steps. So if it goes up in the thousands, you're gonna jump over some that you might need. So trying again. Have done without this to be honest with you. I'm gonna take a micro drill bit to these. Something smaller than the wire and just drill out the last bit. Just a salt sucker. When it can't get the last bit, it sometimes works. But the uh, I can hear you going, oh but why don't you have one of those things that can suck the solder as well as heat the joint? Well I do have one of those things up there and I don't rate them. Sometimes it could be more trouble than it's worth a lot of the time. So this does it, it's fine. The solder is soft, doesn't take much to get through it. After much playing around, I discovered that when the uh, with my other Atari ST, I set it up, and when I plug the monitor uh, wire into here, the other ST wasn't booting, and I was like, "Whoa, this is weird." 
So I don't know what I did. I unplugged the monitor thing and I just filled with the connectors, opened up the shells, made sure there was no shorts, put it all back together, plugged it in on the other ST and it booted fine that time. It wasn't being held in reset. So I'm wondering if all of this is something to do with the monitor plug shorting something out or whatever. So what I discovered is I held uh, this underneath the FLIR camera, the thermal infrared camera, and this little guy was glowing hot. Okay, you're gonna turn on the original faulty ST. Power is on. So the main CPU is getting warm. You see the power supply resistors instantly fire up. And then there's a little bit of heat on the other parts of the board. We can have a little zoom now in. We still have this transistor here. 24 degrees. And the main CPU, 33, 33. And this was the area where I was suspicious of last time. Sometimes it's hard to tell where the heat's coming from because of the parallax. So I'm going to just put my finger on that. And then I'm going to put it on that. And then I'm going to put it on that. So that capacitor, there's a capacitor right there. It's getting warm. I mean, this area is kind of warm. Now we can see this transistor here. Twenty-four degrees. And in my experience, this capacitors shouldn't really glow hot, especially one, you know, just one going really hot where all the others are pretty cool. Um, and it does seem to be something potentially to do with this. It's a C416, and it's kind of in that whole area, basically. So I'm going to pop it off and uh, change that, just see if that makes a difference. So the old cap here tested 53 microfarads, it's rated 47, 16 volts, whereas the new one has tested 47 at mm, 10 volts, so I don't know, we'll try it anyway and see what happens. Turns out now that C416 is running cool and C4 one seven now is getting hot <laughs> so we're moving it we're moving the hotness around let's replace that guy too so hopefully that's of use to you please be careful if you're out there hacking have a great day bye bye <laughs>